Suzanne A. Wells and you have landed on my May 2023 sales update video. In this video I will show you what I sold, how much I paid for it, and the profit which is the most important number to me, and also some teachable moments from items I've sold and have purchased and listed that are in my store now. Okay, I do have an update for you on the algorithm experiment. I mentioned back in April that I would not be ending listings and restarting them just to see what happens or what doesn't happen. <laughs> After doing this for six weeks, so mid-May, I noticed a significant decrease in sales and offers. So as you can imagine, I had moments of weakness late in the month and decided to end some listings and restart them for the sake of experimenting. Now keep in mind, I cannot conclusively say that this action has a direct cause and effect result because there are too many variables in reselling and on eBay. So you really can't isolate this one action to draw a solid conclusion. But I will say that when I ended and restarted listings, some of those items sold within a few days and I did see more activity overall in my store. So again, I'm not drawing an indisputable conclusion, but my own personal curiosity has been satisfied during this very short experiment. I mean, I could have done this experiment for much longer, but I'm not going to cut off my nose to spite my face, meaning deliberately leave money on the table. I see clearly that ending and restarting listings works for me in my store. So I'm going back to doing that a few times a week to keep the momentum going. One more quick announcement. My 2023 calendar has been reduced to 1497 since we are almost halfway through the year now. There's still great information in this calendar, even if the month has passed. So if you were waiting for that to go on sale, it has. Okay, now let's get into my sales for May. This is a Nike Golf Ladies Top. I paid $4.75 for this. It sold for $20 and I am tracking the duration that items have been listed. So this was listed for 77 days. Profit was $13.37. And this is an item that I fell in love with and I started wearing it. So of course it's sold. <laughs> um, but hey, 13 bucks, not bad. Next up is a pair of Notori thigh high stockings. I paid $2 for these. They sold for $18. It took 74 days to sell. Profit was $13.85. And the counter on the duration is from either when I first listed it or the last time I ended it and restarted it. So most of these are going to be under 100 days because ending and restarting was part of my routine until April when I started that experiment. Okay, this is a Dale Earnhardt Goodwrench baseball hat. I paid 75 cents for this, took an offer of $18. It was only listed nine days and this was recently purchased. Profit was $15.56. Okay, you might have to put your sunglasses on for this one. <laughs> really bright color. This is an Antigua brand women's golf top. I paid $4.75 for this. Took an offer of $25 the same day it was listed. 
profit was $17.72. And I mean, this item is so bright. You would not lose the person wearing this um, in the grocery store, on the golf course, whatever. I mean, it almost looks like it could glow in the dark. <laughs> All right, this is an L.L. Bean Cool Weave shirt. It had a very unusual texture, something I'd never seen before. So vintage L.L. Bean, you can't go wrong with that. I paid $4.75 took an offer of $30 and it was only listed 10 days. Profit was $20.70. Here is a Gotex women's swimsuit, size 14. I paid $3.75, took an offer of 30. It was listed for 67 days. Profit was $22.39. Here's a fun item a Dakin cow puppet. It was made in 1984, so definitely vintage. I paid 50 cents for this. It sold for full asking of $29.97. Took 39 days to sell. Profit was $26.22. Here's another item that fit me perfectly and I wore a few times and even got compliments on it. So that's when you know it's going to sell. The brand is Jamie Sadock. It's a tennis or golf top. I paid $4.75, took an offer of $35. It sold in five days. Profit was $26.42. And this is a brand that I mentioned in my most recent Bolo book. I have been selling this brand ever since I started eBay. I find it a few times a year, but definitely is easily recognizable because of the striking, usually black and white colors with something else thrown in. So the tag, the label inside is also easily recognizable. I don't know if you can see there, um, it's black and white and has her name on it. So. This has been one of my go-to brands for a long time. Moving on to the Jelly Cat Bashful Bunny. I paid $1.18 for him. Sold for full asking of $34.97 in 39 days. Profit was $27.42. And he was little, like six inches. So Good things come in small packages. This is a Ming Wang jacket, size extra small. I paid $5. It sold for $38.97. Duration, 64 days. Profit was $29.65. And this actually sold back in February for $48.97. And it was returned for fit and then I sold it again for a little bit less, but that's okay. It all evens out. I was just happy to have that sale. This is a Miracle Suit swimsuit, size 24W. So larger size, I paid $4.69. It sold for $39.97 in 74 days. Profit was $32.09. Here's a brand you might not have heard of. It's called Fly Flot. These are comfort shoes. I paid $1 for these. I know, I know, I said I'm getting out of the shoe business, <laughs> but I couldn't resist on these because they were only a dollar. Goodwill was having a dollar shoe day, so eh. I couldn't resist. These sold for full asking price of $39.97. Duration, 99 days. Profit was $33.12. Here's another fun one. This is a Dandy Plush Pterodactyl. 24 inches, so this was a larger one. I paid $4.34 for him. He sold for $39.97, full asking price. 
Duration was 63 days. Profit $34.15 for this pterodactyl plush. Okay, here we have a pair of Aris gloves, which actually look more like baseball mitts. I saw these and thought, wow, these are really thick and wide, but that's okay, somebody wanted them. They were leather and cashmere lined. I paid 50 cents for these. They sold on offer of $40, took 25 days, profit was $34.88. And I just love selling accessories because they're small, easy to ship, usually pretty cheap in the thrift store or wherever you're getting them. So 50 cents to $40 in 25 days, where else can you do that? Where else in the world can a 50 cent investment result in $40? Um, not talking about Vegas, not talking about gambling, just that's an investment that really paid off. Here's another accessory. This is a Vineyard Vines tie and this was a custom school tie. The school is called Tabor Academy and it's in Massachusetts. It took me a little bit of research to figure out what this logo was but I thought why is that tie down here in South Carolina? It's brand new with the tag. Anyway, it was 50 cents. I took a $50 offer. It sold in 83 days and profit was $43.58 and it was shipped to Quincy, Massachusetts. And I'm thinking maybe this was a graduation gift or a gift for a professor or someone affiliated with that school. But I don't know that for sure. Okay, here's another item I've been dabbling in, pillow covers. This was a Pottery Barn pillow cover. It was a set of two. I actually found three and set up the listing with a quantity of three, and this person bought two. So I paid $2.80 total for these two pillow covers. Took an offer of $50. They sold within 68 days. Profit was $45.68. Okay, here we have some granny panties. And you may remember that these sold last month for $40. They came back to me, returned to sender in the mail, refunded that buyer, listed again, and they sold two days later for $25 more. I paid $2 for these. They sold for $65. Profit was $46.27 and they sold in two days. Here is another Jelly Cat plush. This is a 12 inch penguin. I paid 88 cents for him. He sold for full asking price of $64.97. Took 63 days to sell. Profit was $56.37. And that was on May 1st, so started off the month with a bang. Okay, here is the showbiz Mr. Munch plush. And he's terrifying. I hope he's not going into a child's room because he's just horrific. <laughs> I paid a dollar for him, took an offer of $100. After ending that listing and restarting it, this offer came in one day after doing that. So this is the convincer for me. I've had him for about eight months with no activity, a couple of offers that were really low. So I ended that listing and restarted it and it sold for $100 in less than 24 hours. It was not a promoted listing. He was priced a little higher and I accepted a hundred dollar offer. So this chain of events convinced me that it definitely is worth my time to end and restart listings. My curiosity has been satisfied and in case you didn't catch on to this, it's the Showbiz Pizza Mr. Munch. 
that's what was on the tag. So if you know what showbiz pizza is, <laughs> you're old like me. Okay, now for some numbers. And I am a part-time seller like many of you. So my numbers are not huge, but I'm happy with them. I sold 39 items in May, which was down from 53 items in April. As you know, this business just goes up and down all the time. <laughs> I now have 690 items in my store, which is up from 633 in April. So I have been busy finding things to sell and the important part, listing them. Inventory cost for the items that sold in May was $154.28. Inventory cost in April was $201.12. Profit per item, this is a number I watch, was $22, up from $18 in April. So moving in the right direction again on that one. Average duration of listing. This is something new that I'm going to continue to track because I want to know <laughs> how quickly things sell. and. As you saw, some things sell minutes after you list them, and some take months or years. But for the sales shown in this video, the average duration was 48 days, so about a month and a half. Okay, returns. I only had two, and they were not very expensive items, so I'm okay with that. And when you sell clothing, that's just an occupational hazard. You get more sales by having a return policy. And me personally, I always have to try things on. So I will not buy from a seller or a company that does not honor clothing returns because I just don't think that's practical. You know, this happens like you find something you really like and you get a bunch of different colors. It's the same brand, it's the same style, and some of them don't fit, or they don't fit the same. So anyway, just wanted to keep you in the loop on my returns. I don't normally get very many at all, but when I do, they're usually clothing. Okay, I listed 93 items last month. Let me show you some things that I listed. Okay, I'm getting on the remote control bandwagon, but this was a happy accident. <laughs> this is a Kenwood car stereo remote control, and I found this in my glove compartment. I got a new stereo system back in 2015 and completely forgot that it came with a remote. I mean, I don't need the remote when I'm driving, so... Anyway, I found this in my car and looked it up and have it priced at $24.97. This is a pair of vintage women's leather gloves and they are fabulous. They're wool lined and I feel like this could be a prop or costume or for cosplay whatever but comps showed these sell for around 50 so I have them priced at 49.97 and these were a dollar I also wanted to point out something on listings and this has been there for a while but I just like seeing it under your listing it might say fast and reliable so thank you eBay for putting that little blurb on there to build customer confidence Okay, this is a cloche hat, new with tag, 100% wool. It was $2. I have it priced at $99.97. And this, again, is probably going to be some kind of costume piece. Or maybe not. Some people just like wearing hats. 
Here's a fun one. This is a cache women's wide brim straw hat. And this is definitely a statement hat. When I saw this, I immediately thought of the movie Overboard where Goldie Hawn's character is sitting there on the yacht with his giant hat on. <laughs> so, yeah, I couldn't resist. This was $2. I have it priced at $39.97 found a couple of costumes. This is a Ruby's brand Supergirl costume. It was $2.25. It does not have the cape or the leg coverings with it. That's okay. It'll still sell. I have it priced at $29.97 and it's my size. So I might just wear this to the grocery store one day. I might just wear it around and see what people do and see what they say because it's fun to dress up. <laughs> Here's another costume that is my size. This is a gypsy beer garden beer maiden costume and here in Greenville we have the BMW plant and there is a definite German population here. There are a few German restaurants because of the BMW factory where a lot of people come in from overseas to work here for a short period. So Greenville has embraced that by having some German restaurants. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if that's where this came from, but it definitely would make a great Halloween costume or a cosplay costume, or maybe I'll just wear it around um, when I'm working on my eBay and just feel fun and festive. <laughs> it was $3 and I have it priced at $39.97. Here's another fun item. This is a bride heavy spa bathrobe. It was $2.25. I have it priced at $29.97. It's not a real high-end brand. It's Cynthia Rowley but this is a thing now with brides where they have their robes on in the dressing room and all the bridesmaids have a matching robe so this is going to save somebody some time it's already embroidered and ready to go okay this is an anthropology ivy jane embroidered top it was four dollars and 75 cents and I have it priced at $49.97. Here is an item that is a new brand for me. The brand is 2XU and these are compression tights. It has these inserts built into the inside that it's like a girdle. It's a compression system. So maybe that's muscular compression system. Anyway, these are quite pricey, over $100 new. I paid $4.75 and have them priced at $69.97. And these are not my size, <laughs> so I will be wearing these. Okay, this is a lot of six St. John Collection replacement buttons. And while I have talked about this over the years, I've never actually done this. but. These were on a jacket that had many issues, stains and holes, and just not nice enough to sell. So I cut the buttons off and cut the tag off and put them together in this listing. The cost of the item was $4.75, and I have it priced at $39.97. Here's another item I bought for myself that didn't work out. <laughs> this is a birdhouse shaped like a bird. It's a resin material. There's a plug at the bottom where you can unplug it and clean it out. But I had this hanging out on my deck and um, the birds were totally not interested in it. And when a storm blows in or it's very windy, this thing blows around too much. So I decided someone else can enjoy it. And my son was like, oh, this looks like the giant bird from bug's life. It's kind of scary. Do you really want that out there? Maybe it's scaring the birds away. <laughs> anyway, I paid three dollars for this and have it priced at 39.97. dollars 
Okay, I found this Susie's Zoo baby comforter. I actually had Susie's Zoo on like a bedspread or something when I was a little girl, so I immediately recognized this and it's definitely vintage. I paid a dollar for this baby quilt and have it priced at $124.97. And finally, a vintage Michael Simon Christmas sweater. This is one of those holy grail items. This was in the 2022 Bolo book, explains all about Michael Simon sweaters. And yes, some of them can sell for between $250 and $300. It just depends on what's on it, how heavily beaded it is, if it's for a holiday, if it's Disney, lots of different criteria there. But this one was $4.31 and had lots of cute little Santa Claus appliques on it. I have it priced at $89.97. Okay, we've made it to the end of another sales update video. As always, I love your comments below. That shows me that you're engaged in watching the video, so I really appreciate that. And I will be back next week with the $100 supersize sale. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day on eBay. Bye everybody.